I'm here with Dr. Saif of Abu Dhabi Airport. Uh, Dr. Saif, if you'd like to tell me a little bit about yourself and your organization. My name is Dr. Saif al uh, I'm the uh, Senior Vice President uh, in Abu Dhabi Airport. Uh, um, so I'm handling the, uh, the whole technology inside the, the airport uh, from the uh, project uh, perspective. So we are building the uh, Abu Dhabi new airport. And tell me a little bit about this smart airport concept. How is it differing from the existing airport? The, 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 uh, the smart airport uh, concept is coming from the smart city. And the, uh, the, the, uh, the things behind uh, the uh, Abu Dhabi airport is, uh, is, is we're building a new project from the new field. And we learn from the, our environment uh, around us is from the other airport. Uh, so we start uh, thinking is how we can bring the technology can serve the customers. And we want to make sure is to have it end-to-end -end solutions when it's coming from the customer perspective. So it's, we're doing customer uh, survey, what they require, and we start to adopt the technology to serve this one. So that's what's coming behind the smart uh, airport. And it's, it's wonderful to be in a situation where actually you can build a business from the customer outwards, so to speak. How has that impacted your technology decisions? It's a big, uh, big impact. Uh, it's, it's, it's. Uh, if you look uh, background, is was the IT is leading the uh, the the, uh, the business uh, because this is what we want uh, as an IT. Today is not not this is the way how we think is the thinking how the the businesses lead the IT. So we want to make sure is what's the the requires that is coming from the end user. What well, the require coming from the customer perspective. We start building behind. You can add a favor, like when you buy a car, so you buy a, a nice car, but you need to add some ex accessories on the cars. So you need to have a nice looking window and all of these things. So we're doing the same thing. So it's, that's the technology is behind it. So that's why we're coming from the smart uh, airport, uh, uh, from the customer need perspective. And do you feel that this perspective has allowed you to be, or your IT function, to be a partner to the business as opposed to just a supplier to the business? It's it's hand to hand. Um, uh, technology everywhere today. Uh, they, 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 there is no way is not going to be adopt the technology. Um, but we need to have the right technology on the right place. Uh, so that's why we are engaged with the customers. Well, that's why we are, we engage of the uh, our operator. That's why we engage with our uh, stakeholders. So we we study what they need, and what we exactly can add that can serve the uh, the customer perspective. And how, how do you see yourself harnessing the information? Because you're going to be getting a lot of information uh, from the, the type of people that are coming into the airport, the retail experience they're expecting, what their actual behaviors are. How are you going to turn that into even greater customer experience? It's, um, <clears throat> the information is the most important thing with anything that's coming. So that's what you need to study every information is coming. But what kind of information you need it to serve your business? Um, and that's why we start to analytics of these informations. Uh, as, as, as you mentioned, is we're going to have a lot of huge of data, a lot of huge informations. But the, the, the right answer for this is, is coming how we can use the right informations to the right things. And here is when you select the right partner. Mm -hmm. So it's from the business oriented or from the experience oriented to tell you exactly what we need from the, from the business, how you're going to plan your business for the next five years or, or, or ahead, how you're going to use a strategy perspectives and all of this and your operation perspective. So all this is dependent on these informations. I would imagine your workforce is highly mobile. Um, bring your own device. Is that, a, is that something that you're going to be uh, allowing? There's no doubt, yes. Uh, I mean, it's <laughs> at the end, it's the customers. Uh, they have them on mobiles. They have them on uh, iPad. They are, but they're one of the services. Yes. So, and that's why we try to to build that service is, is to combine with every devices they can have it. From the security perspective, we need to secure it. And we make sure to provide the services to everybody's company. So are you saying that you're treating your staff as customers? They are a customers. Is anybody will start being on the airport will be a customer to the IT. Okay. So we want to make sure as we provide the services to the customer. So it's employee or their stakeholders or the uh, travelers or everybody is a customer to the IT. So we want to make sure to provide it. I, I travel quite a lot and um, sometimes I find the, mm. uh, the customer experience not so good in airports because of the having to balance with the security yeah. requirements. How, how are you uh, approaching that challenge? 
The best things we're doing today is uh, we are hand to hand with the whole security so they can adapt to our operations. Um, and, the, and the airport is the first thing that's come is the security uh, because this is the entrance of your uh, country. This is the gate to, uh, to everything. And the same times is, is, is part of your business to these countries. So, and that's why we have that hand to hand, how to enhance our services combined with the security to provide the best services to, to, to the customers. And it's the things been changing at Abu Dhabi Airport since the last year. And, and, and now is uh, surprisingly as if, if you go to the airport, Abu Dhabi Airport, the time you arrive and the time you go through the luggage is not gonna take more than 10 minutes to 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it's, it's, that surprised me when doing the, the enhancement. And that's bringing the technology perspectives behind it. it. It literally is the customer journey. It is. <laughs> and, it's, uh, and the good thing is, and this is without this coordination with all the stakeholders around it, it's going to be achieved. So everybody starts to get buy-in. And, and this is what we're doing it in, in, in Abu Dhabi Airport, the new one. So it's, as we mentioned, it's, it's not the same size. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's twice of uh, Dubai Mall. So it's, if you look at the size of the big airport, it's uh, so it's, we need to have the efficiency of the, uh, of the services. And how do you think you're going to apply, your, let's call it real-time analytics, to deciding the layout of the arcade, the, the shopping experience? Will you real-time, will you have pop-up stores based on <laughs> seasonal demands? How I look at the Abu Dhabi airport today is a shopping mall. Uh, so yes, is, is the way I how we build it is a shopping mall has airport inside. It's the size of it and the big of it. So, and you know, different people in mind of uh, shopping, uh, people, different things as products. So the, the way is behind uh, to build that technology serving the, the customer is we need to study what the customers need from the, this size of mall. Yeah, and how you enjoy it when you come to the, to the airport, because this is the first entry when you come to, the, to the any country. And we want to make sure that it's being satisfied 100% when you come to the airport. So that's why we designed the airport is based on the customer's uh, needs and services.